Hey, how's it going, fellow Trojans and loyal vassals? So, you might be wondering, what's going on in the background? So, for whatever reason, for whatever stupid reason, see, I already had these, right? These were the Wonder Festival exclusive uh, Figma archetype next he, next she. And for whatever reason, I decided to get this many of them both in gray and flesh colored uh part of that explanation is due to the fact that uh well the gray ones i pre-ordered from hobby link japan and uh i like hobby link japan i don't think i've used them as much this year last year i was using i was using them constantly primarily because they have the feature to cancel your order if you wish uh the flesh colored uh archetypes all, all pretty much all the flesh colored here figma you see uh i pre-ordered on ami ami and if you if you know about ami ami while they do offer a slightly slight you know slightly cheaper price than normal from other places uh they do not have a cancellation uh thingamajig uh pretty much once you place your order you are bound to pay for it if not you will get a strike on your account after a while you will get a final notice of cancellation and telling you oh you're you're not paying your orders if you don't stop this we're gonna i guess discontinue your account even though i can uh thoroughly say that i've gotten away with it three times where i've gotten a final notice where they would say hey we know you're canceling your orders we're gonna discontinue your account if you don't start paying your orders but uh i guess it's a machine i don't think it's an actual person that runs the i mean obviously there's a lot of people ordering stuff so i don't think it's an actual person checking these things so it's kind of like a machine where it checks your orders where it, after a while it like resets kind of thing where uh they send you the final notice then it resets your accounts like okay then you got like four or three strikes again and then it does it again and then you so i don't know i've gotten away with it three times uh but i really did want these figures i mean i didn't want four or a pair a pair of flesh color variants i wanted to just order one set just like the gray ones but i couldn't because it was, it was an emmy emmy uh but i like hobby link japan because you can cancel stuff and should you wish they have the private warehouse option where they they hold on to the figure for like 60 days if you don't want to you if you don't want it immediately so you don't have to worry about paying for shipping right away uh but anyways that's besides the point uh i really actually i did really want these figures just not two pairs of uh flesh figma and this was going to be like a just a quick showing off the differences between the archetype next he and the body coon from sh figure arts uh and i also wanted to talk about posing um i've always wanted kind of like a guide personally when i started uh collecting figures i've always wanted like an instruction guide a tutorial on how to pose a figure and i've always wondered maybe i could do something like that problem is i suck at explaining things and I would make a terrible instructor uh, if you've noticed in my slideshows I put a lot of effort into the posing of figures partly because I like uh, taking pictures of my fi uh, my figures and, and you know in different poses I, I like it it's, it's, it's a fun hobby you pass the time and it's only for like one minute right the slideshows are for like a minute at the end of the videos uh, surprisingly those images take upwards to like almost three hours to take I'm not even joking that's not an exaggeration because you, you have to put a lot of effort in making those figures look good and in, in certain angles you got to make sure they look good uh, and i've always wanted to do something like that but problem is i you know i i don't know i just i don't think i'd be, be a good instructor like i have all these figures in the background right and they all look nice they all posed in a very flashy manner we got guys flexing over there she's sitting down she's doing something high jump kick posing with the sword He's doing the muscle curtain. Uh, she's posing with guns. Like, I can't really, like, I don't know how I would go about doing an instructional video on posing figures. Like, like I can tell you right now, if you're going to be posing figures, you best damn believe they better be looking good. Like, like they don't, like, how, do, how would I, like, see this is what I'm talking about. How would I explain this to a normal person? You got to make them look natural. Like, if you're going for a certain pose, you got to make sure you're using every single part of their body. Not just making things at certain angles look janky. I don't know if... See, it's hard to explain. Unless, like, for me personally, even when I started collecting figures, while well, I did want an instructional guide kind of thing, I, I always... I already had, like, a foundation. Like, I understood, okay, so if, if I'm going to be doing, like, action poses, 
it's obviously going to be over the top. I know how it's going to look. Uh, and stuff like that. But it's just like... I don't know. Uh, but like I said, I would be a terrible instructor. I, would, I wouldn't even know how would I would begin to explain stuff. Like, the best advice... Even if you... I don't, if, I don't know if you would even call it advice. But if you read or watch a lot of manga or, uh, or anime... Uh, get a lot of reference on that kind of stuff because that's pr primarily where I get my kind of poses uh, or just think what would this character do in certain scenarios make sure you make you're making use of every single like uh, joint don't don't make like don't leave a certain angle or set a certain leg or ankle off everything has to be utilized to its fullest to make everything look uh, natural that kind of stuff but anyways on to what I was originally gonna get to is a comparison a quick comparison between these two figures uh, so aesthetically I personally prefer the archetype he uh, mainly because of all his uh, gains aka his muscles very vascular impressive I love the deltoids biceps triceps on point pecs abdominals nice stuff gluteus maximus on point back muscles nice so aesthetically, I really like the archetype he, uh, though I should also pro uh, probably should have mentioned in case you, the obvious is that uh, Body Coon here was not really, well he was he was intended, per, uh, designed uh, for the purpose of being uh, a mannequin for artists, that's what he was designed for, for the artist in mind. Uh, and I don't think it was anywhere specifically mentioned that archetype he was going to be a mannequin for artists. Uh, it's just one of those things where um, every other or like every couple of years uh, Max Factory decides to re-release their uh, archetype bodies because they're just pr primarily ma uh, just made for like a base for what they're going to be basing their future figures off of that kind of thing between uh, female and male uh, with the like I get and then they just kind of like uh, on the side they say oh yeah you can also probably use this for drawing purposes that kind of stuff but I just you know between the two I would imagine this is obviously the more uh, ideal male body figure only because it's more like simple everything's not too detailed whereas this one is obviously purposely detailed and musculature uh, short and stout I don't think a lot of I guess artists are going to be looking for that I think this is the more generic appealing look again I'm not an artist so I wouldn't know so I mean I just like articulation and figures in general so I, I pr personally prefer the archetype P uh, but as far as articulation though goes, uh, the only two things that I feel that the archetype he has over the body coon is the at the neck and at the legs, where he can pretty much lift his leg beyond his upper waist, which not a lot of figures, can, male figures, can do that. Put that back there, and uh, body coon here cannot do that. So, you can... so that's pretty much as far as he can go, because his actual thigh is not on ball joints uh, but body coon does have double jointed uh, stuff going on so there's that even still because of the way the actual thigh is actually molded see how it's indented uh, he can still get get it pretty much like it identical almost even but of course at the risk of aesthetics at the back of the thigh Body Kun does have double jointed elbows. Archetype E does not, but still, impressive stuff. I also feel that the Archetype E has a better, uh, easier time getting his arms across his chest and doing stuff like that. Because this his chest is made of uh, soft PVC, whereas Body Kun. Uh, can still kind of do that, but maybe it's a little harder because his chest is not soft PVC. So, like I mentioned at the neck, he can very, he can like, I don't know what's the word I'm thinking of, jet out his neck. If that makes sense, stretch out his neck. He can pretty much. This is what I'm talking about. So he can do that. He can launch his neck off from his body quite a bit outwards. That's that's scary. We are not focused. I apologize. Uh, whereas Body Coon cannot do that. Uh, that's pretty much as close as he's gonna get. Uh, we're not focused. There you go. There's that. Uh, one of the things I don't like about Archetype P is that uh, 
because of his, I guess because of the, the sizing, is that he has a very elongated uh, torso here. And because of that, when you're doing some sort of a crunch, by the way, he doesn't have a lower kind of, he can move it side to side, but he doesn't really have a lower kind of crunch. Most of it is from up here. But when, when you're doing this, it looks a little off because of how long it is compared to where the body coon, where everything's more compact, you can see how his torso is much smaller. When you do the same thing, like an ab crunch, it is uh, more, everything's just, everything's just more appealing to look at. Whereas with him, it just looks creepy. See that? Even from this angle. Look at that. That's hideous, by the way. But yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, let's see if I can show you the full extent of what I'm talking about. So this is Bodykin doing something like that. And here is Figma Archetype P doing something like that. Now he can... He, wow, that is actually way more impressive. So he can get a little bit more flexible stuff. But at the cost of aesthetics, so... See, kind of see like that. So that's what you're working with. This obviously being more flexible, but at the cost of aesthetics, as you can see. See, if I can properly show you here. So there you go. See how everything on the arc on the body cone is way more like aesthetically pleasing, where everything on the Figma archetype he is gaps, gaps, and more gaps. Everything is very hideous to look at so again this was made more for the artist in mind whereas the archetype he not necessarily it's more of like a base for what their figures are going to be based off of uh, and that's pretty much everything uh, oh yeah i guess the one thing i forgot to mention is their feet as you can see he has more shoe design and he has uh, toes and a toe hinge and uh, obviously the foot is going to be the more uh, better because he's able to have a better footing, uh, no pun intended, better footing to stand when he's doing poses because he's, he's got, he has a flat foot, whereas the actual Figma archetype, he is uh, molded into a weirdly, uh, we are not focused. An actual foot is what I'm trying to say. There you go. Stuff like that. But I still personally prefer the archetype, he, only, purely on aesthetic reasons. I like the articulation, but obviously, uh, aesthetically it can look a little weird in certain angles. Uh, the body coon obviously is, was intended for artist in mind, and that's it. Does it, he does his job aesthetically too? So, pick your poison. I like them both. Preferably archetype he a little bit more. Uh, however, I will say that I do prefer the archetype she way more than body Chan because she is hideous. I did not like her giant, massive head on her, uh, and her weirdly large breasts on the tiny body. Uh, however. Figma archetype, he, I mean, she is just more appealing to look at. Uh, and aesthetically, well, that's the same thing, but it, yeah, it's just better. Anyways, I'll let the... I did manage to take a, co a couple of uh, images in the slideshow. So, just to show you a full comparison between the two. Hopefully, you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.